So hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. I'm Gleens, you guys in this video I am going to try some blooming gel for the first time. Let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into it. Okay you guys, so this is how the nails look. She ripped off her previous set so this is why her nails look a little bit damaged. I've used some alcohol to disinfect and also to loosen up the cuticle area. I'm using my cuticle pusher to push back the cuticles. And when I'm done with this step, I'm going in with my medium grit sanding band on a really low speed to soft um, to get off the um, natural shine of the nail and to also get a little bit into the cuticle area before applying the nail tips. So now I'm applying the nail tips you guys and these nail tips I've got from Curacao so that's why I don't have a link for you guys but I love these stiletto nail tips because they are so easy to get the coffin shape you guys you just um, clip off the uh, where you want the nails to be and you already got the coffin shape so love that I'm just going in with my nail clippers and clip the nails off and I'm going in with my hand file to just to perfect to perfect the shape just a little bit and yeah love these nail tips love it So now I'm going in once again with my medium grit bit sanding band to blend the nail tips into the natural nail and also go once again at the cuticle area just a little bit you guys on a really really low speed you guys so you don't file the natural nail too much and that's what I'm doing on all the nails. So now I'm going in with my cuticle scissors to get off the dead skin at the cuticle area. So you guys, now I'm going in with my primer that will be soon available on my web shop. I'm going in with my primer and when I'm done applying one coat of my primer, I'm going in with one coat of my Super Bond. This is to prevent any lifting or any, you know, bubble, bubbles to go under the acrylic. This is to make sure the acrylic adheres perfectly onto the natural nail. And when I'm done doing this step, I'm going in with my, uh, my uh, clear acrylic. I'm going to apply a thin layer of clear acrylic on all the nails. And this is also to prevent any staining or any lifting.
Okay, so now I'm using the one bead method and using the cover pink from Tones. I will put the link for you guys in the description box below. And I'm applying this on all the nails, you guys. I just love the consistency of the acrylic because now I'm using my liquids um, in combination of the products from Tones, you guys. Just love it. Just love how soft it works. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so smooth. And because I love to work fast, you know, and especially when I'm doing the one ball method, I'm using my acrylic uh, liquid that will dry a little bit faster. So you guys love it. Just love it. I can't wait to show you guys all my new products. But yeah, I'm going to do this on all the nails. So this is how the nails look after application and next I'm going in with my medium crit bit to smooth down the nails and to also to shape the nails. And now I'm going in with my tapered bit to get into the cuticle area and when I'm done with this step I'm going in with my hand file to perfect the coffin shape.
okay so this is how the nails look after filing buffing and cleaning the nails and you guys i've got some purple pink and some white gel polish and i just did this on a lid of a jar of acrylic powder and now i'm applying the blooming gel i'm going to apply a thin layer of the blooming gel on all the nails and when i'm done with this step i'm going in with the gel polish over the blooming gel you guys i've already did something similar like this on my channel i will put the guy i will put the link for you guys in the description box below but i didn't use any blooming gel i just used only the gel polish so i will show you guys that in the link uh, the link in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that one out but this time we wanted to use or i mean i wanted to use <laughs> the blooming gel for the first time to see the effect of this i i you guys i'm just in love with the blooming gel but you have to make sure that you apply a thin layer of the blooming gel not too much otherwise it will spread all over the place so make sure you apply a thin layer you guys really thin layer uh, all over the nail and i got this blooming gel from cakes ink nails and i will put the link also for you guys in the description box below so that's um what i'm doing now with a flat brush i just picked up the uh, gel polish that i've just marbled and i'm just going in random and working fast so the, bl the blooming gel doesn't bloom the gel polish too much <laughs> If you know what I'm saying, so I'm working really fast, just random, like a swirly thingy on the nail on the tips, going into the nail bed like that, and I'm going to cure the nails under my lamp. When the nails are cured, I'm going in with my top coat that will be available soon, you guys. I will put the um, uh, cover. I mean, I'm going to top coat all the nails, and when I'm done. Topping off all the nails with my gel top coat. I'm going in and cure the nails once again, and then I will show you guys the end result. So I'm applying some cuticle oil and massaging it in. And you guys, this is the end result. I'm so in love. I love the colors. Love, love, love it, you guys. Just get some random gel polish that you have. You only need the blooming gel to get this design. Love it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this nail design, you guys. this is the end of the video thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate it thank you so so much for being here till the end give this video a big thumbs up if you have liked this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel it would really help my channel to grow thank you so so much i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye